Hello and welcome. You probably clicked on this video because you were trying to figure out how to get some dramatic shots with using one constant light. Guess what? You came to the right place. So I'm here with Danny Phelps. Danny Phelps. Michael's brother. I mean, <laughs> Michael's cousin. Danny Phelps here. So we're here to show you how you can use one constant light and get some cool dramatic shots and how you can just like play with one light and the different things that it can do. So it's good that you came here. <laughs> Go ahead, sit down, grab some popcorn. It's gonna be fun. You're gonna learn because we're gonna teach. Let's do it. So first off, we're going to be recording these shots as they happen. So you can see in real time, how these shots come out. All right, so we're gonna be recording with our shimble. All I gotta do is hit record and it starts recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Boom. And now you're seeing everything in live in real time. We're using a Godox SL60. We got this bad boy at 58% right now. Um, so it can get brighter. Let me show you. As you can probably see, it's getting a little brighter, or I could bring it down, however I need it to be. All right, so don't mind Danny taking selfies because this is kind of like what we do. Let's try 80%. No, let's try 75. Let's leave it at 75, see what we can get. We have this diffuser on it. Later on, I'm gonna use this grid and show you how you can make shots even more dramatic by just adding a grid. Some of you might be like, why you got this thing just dangling like this? I like to keep my grid just dangling so that I don't lose it. Cause my studio is a mess and I don't want to lose anything. Some things about Danny, she is a fitness professional. She, <laughs> she's been hitting the gym pretty hard and we're gonna use her muscles to show like some shadows and shadow lines and muscle definition and all that fun jazz. Her baby muscles. She calls them baby muscles, but she's fucking jacked. I don't know. So we got this V flat here. Okay, so V flats have two sides. So they got the white side and the black side. Danny likes the black side. Actually, I do because I feel like I look better with the black background. You do. <laughs> I mean, I feel that. I feel like the contrast is a bit better. That makes sense. So this is also a way, this is also a way to show you guys how we can use V flats, okay? So Danny, I'm gonna have you scoop more. Yup, there you go, that's perfect. So don't forget we have this one light right here that we're using, and that is lighting up her entire body. Let me show you what this looks like. I'm at shutter speed 125. F stop 2.8 ISO 800. Here we go. We got one shot of Danny coming up. Three, two, fire. So, as you can see, this is how it's looking. Okay? We got a nice little even light on the side here. We got a little bit of shadow on the right side, which is like, that's, that's the vibe that we're going for anyway. Okay, so. This is what it looks like if we change this white V flat to the dark side. So let's do that really quick. Now it's on the black side. Now, as you can see, right off the bat, things changed. So let's take a picture and talk about it. Uh, take one step forward. Actually, I lied. Go back, I'm sorry. That's good, here we go. Three, two, Boom. All right. Let's talk about what just changed here. By the way, the settings did not change. Nothing has changed except changing it from white to black. So on this photo here, she is lit up pretty well on this side because the white on the right bounced that light into her face. With the black, it actually takes light away and it gives you more drama on the side of the face. So that's what you're seeing. So again, here is the white 
with the V-flat, and here is the V-flat all black. Again, no settings have changed on the light, no settings have changed on the camera. The only thing that changed was we flipped it from white to black, and it already makes a difference. Now, do we wanna make it more dramatic? Sure, why not? So let's do this. All right, so we got Danny over here looking like Tomb Raider slash Kim Possible had a baby. I'm keeping everything as it is. I'm just going to add a grid. That's all I'm doing to make any type of difference here. That's the only change I'm making. I know we need, we need change in the world, but this is the only change that I can make in the world right now. And that is lighting. <laughs> Yes, this makes it not as bright. All right, so we added the grid. And you guys wanna see how it looks now? Here we go. All right, hold on, Danny, look at your picture right now. All right, now let's see the difference. Three, two, one. Boom, do you see that? Listen, again, nothing has changed, folks. We have not changed any settings. All we did was add a grid. Before we added the grid, we had you know, even this part of the V-flat was lit up more. Um, her face was very lit. Everything was lit. We added the grid. This got darker. Her face got darker. This side definitely got darker. Her face didn't get darker, the light on her face got darker. And the reason why that is, so grids actually direct the light specifically how you want it. So light's just not shooting all over the place. It has a it has a meaning. And that's what a grid does. A grid gives a light a meaning. So that's what happens when you, you know, add a grid. Now, if you guys are curious to see what it looks like on the white side, let's just do that real quick. Would you say that it's doing the gritty? <laughs> it's doing the gritty. Boom, all right, so. Now I got the white side up. We're gonna let Danny figure out her selfie. Uh, that's okay. One thing about Danny, don't mess with her when she's doing her selfies, okay? Let her get those. <laughs> All right, Danny, let me get one quick photo. Three, two, one, fire. Okay, you can go back to your selfies. So this is Danny with the white side with a grid added to it. This is without the grid. This is with the grid. So again, the grid just brings more drama to your photos. And by the way, this is just a constant light. So it works just as well with flash, but I wanted to show you guys with a constant light so that you can see the light like as it's actually happening. Other than like with flash, you have to wait for the flash to go off and all that, blah, 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 blah. We didn't want to do all that. We wanted to give you the, the raw. So that's what we did. <laughs> but yeah, that's been us. You are watching Remy Vision. Like, comment, and subscribe.